the camera drifts through the darkness of space. Stars twinkle faintly, and a network of satellites glide silently over the Earth. Slowly, the view zooms in on the Middle East. Iran comes into focus, a land of deserts, mountains, and ancient cities, now at the center of a modern technological storm. Last month, the world woke up to shocking news. Iran announced it would abandon the U.S.-led GPS system entirely. Every GPS signal within its borders could soon vanish. Instead, Iran is embracing China's BEU navigation system, a move that rewrites decades of global reliance on American technology. Why now? Can China's BEU truly replace GPS in accuracy and reliability? And what does this mean for Iran's security, its economy, and the balance of global power? This is not just a story about satellites and signals. It's about trust, independence, and survival in a world where technology can be a weapon. In the next chapters, we'll uncover the history of GPS, the rise of BAU, and the tense chess game that nations like Iran are now playing in space. Because what happens in the skies above doesn't just stay there, it can change the fate of entire countries. To understand why Iran is making such a bold move, we first need to go back nearly 50 years to the Cold War and the birth of GPS itself. The story begins in the tense shadow of the Cold War, the 1970s. The United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a battle for military supremacy. Precision and timing weren't just advantages, they were matters of life and death. To gain an edge, the U.S. launched a groundbreaking project, the Global Positioning System. Originally, GPS was a weapon in disguise. Its 24 satellites, orbiting in carefully calculated paths, allowed the U.S. military to pinpoint targets anywhere on Earth with unprecedented accuracy. Missiles could find their marks. Troops could navigate the most treacherous terrain. The system was designed to give one nation total control over movement and strategy in the skies, seas, and on land. But then something remarkable happened. GPS slipped into civilian life. Trains follow its timing to the second. Airlines rely on it to keep planes in precise lanes. Ships cross oceans without fear of losing course. Banks and stock exchanges synchronize transactions to the millisecond. Even your smartphone depends on it. What started as a Cold War weapon became an invisible backbone of the modern world, a network silently guiding the flow of commerce, travel, and communication across the globe. But such power comes with risk. Dependence on GPS gives the U.S. an unparalleled advantage and a lever over every nation that relies on it. Imagine a world where six billion devices, phones, cars, planes, ships, depend on signals from a handful of satellites orbiting Earth. That world exists today, and GPS is at its heart. About 85% of the globe relies on it for navigation, timing, and coordination. This dependence is more than convenience, it's power. Military operations, global shipping, air traffic, and financial markets all hinge on GPS signals. A simple disruption could paralyze armies, strand ships at sea, or crash high-frequency trading systems in seconds. For decades, nations have benefited quietly from this invisible network, trusting it to function flawlessly. But here lies the tension. All this power rests in the hands of the United States. If Washington chooses, it can selectively degrade signals, jam navigation, or cut off entire regions. Overnight, devices stop working, missiles lose guidance, and planes lose their way. The world's reliance on GPS has become a double-edged sword, an invisible lifeline that can just as easily become a vulnerability. History has already shown us that the U.S. isn't hesitant to use this power, and nations dependent on GPS have paid the price. The power of GPS is not theoretical. It has been wielded as a strategic weapon. Take Iraq, 2003. During the war, the U.S. deliberately jammed GPS signals in surrounding areas. Iraqi forces, once able to rely on satellites for navigation and targeting, suddenly found themselves blind. 
missiles veered off course, convoys lost direction, and the battlefield descended into chaos. Or look back to China, 1993. A Chinese merchant ship on a routine trade mission to Iran was intercepted by the U.S. Navy. Despite finding no wrongdoing, the U.S. cut off its GPS signal. The crew drifted helplessly for over a month, unable to navigate safely through storms and open waters. Supplies ran low and tensions soared, showing how reliance on a foreign navigation system could put lives and national interests at risk. These episodes reveal a simple truth. GPS is not neutral. It is a strategic lever that can cripple militaries, disrupt trade, and destabilize economies. Countries dependent on it are vulnerable, their lifelines effectively in someone else's hands. For Iran, this risk is no longer hypothetical. It's a hard lesson learned from repeated confrontations and disruptions. Fast forward to 2025. Iran finds itself in a dangerous spotlight. A recent 12-day conflict with Israel exposed a critical weakness. GPS signals could be disrupted at will. Drones veered off course mid-flight, missiles missed targets, and naval vessels lost their bearings. The military's operational efficiency, once taken for granted, was thrown into chaos. Beyond combat, other threats loomed. Iranian scientists and commanders had been tracked and targeted through devices dependent on GPS positioning. Each reliance on foreign navigation technology became a potential vulnerability, a literal map to their location for adversaries. For Iranian leaders, the message was clear. Dependence on U.S. GPS was no longer acceptable. National security demanded independence, self-reliance, and control over critical infrastructure. The solution? China's BU system, a network outside American influence, offering precise navigation and robust protection against interference. Iran's move is not just about technology, it's about sovereignty. By switching to BU and planning to shut down GPS reception, Iran aims to reclaim control over its skies, seas, and communications, ensuring that its people and military are no longer at the mercy of foreign powers. But to understand why BU became Iran's choice, we need to explore its origins and the ambitions behind China's satellite network. The story of BU begins in 1994, when China recognized the danger of relying on foreign navigation systems. At the time, the country's technology lagged behind the West. Critical components were restricted by embargoes, and international projects like Europe's Galileo system blocked China from accessing advanced satellite tech. Undeterred, China embarked on an ambitious, independent path. Engineers and scientists worked tirelessly, navigating political and technological obstacles. Every breakthrough came at the cost of years of painstaking research, testing, and iteration. The global consensus was clear. A fully independent Chinese navigation system seemed nearly impossible. Yet China persevered. The BEU project was more than a technical challenge. It was a statement of sovereignty a pledge that the nation would no longer be at the mercy of foreign powers controlling the skies. By investing heavily in research and development, satellite launches, and ground infrastructure, China aimed to create a system that could rival the U.S. GPS, not just in scale, but in precision, reliability, and strategic independence. This resolve set the stage for a technological revolution one that would eventually attract countries like Iran, seeking freedom from GPS dependency. Over the next decade, China would achieve milestones that defied expectations, building a global network capable of challenging the U.S. in space. By 2003, China had launched its first five geostationary satellites, laying the foundation for the BU network. It was a cautious start, but it signaled a serious commitment to independence in space. Four years later, in 2007, the first BU-2 satellite took flight, demonstrating that China could compete with established systems. What followed was a remarkable feat of strategy and engineering. Within just five years, China completed a full regional network covering the entire Asia-Pacific, achieving operational capability that rivaled GPS. Meanwhile, Europe's Galileo project struggled with internal disagreements and slow progress.
highlighting China's relentless focus and patience. These milestones were not just technical achievements, they were a statement. China had proven it could develop and operate a sophisticated satellite navigation system entirely on its own. The stage was set for Biu to move from regional dominance to global influence, attracting countries looking for alternatives to U.S.-controlled GPS. With the foundation in place, BEU expanded far beyond Asia, reaching countries and industries worldwide, reshaping global navigation and geopolitics in the process. By 2020, BU had transformed from a regional system into a global powerhouse. Over 55 satellites now orbited the Earth, supporting more than 1.5 billion users across 137 countries. From Africa to the Middle East, from Asia to Latin America, nations were integrating BEU into aviation, shipping, mobile communications, and even agriculture. The impact wasn't just technological, it was economic. Industries built around navigation, logistics, and timing began generating cumulative benefits totaling $530 billion, illustrating that BAU was more than satellites in orbit. It was a global infrastructure reshaping trade, transportation, and finance. For countries like Iran, BEU offered not just precision, but reliability and independence. Unlike GPS, its services were unlikely to be cut off or manipulated, creating a secure backbone for both civilian and military applications. BU had become a geopolitical tool as much as a technological one, an alternative for nations seeking autonomy in a world long dominated by U.S. satellites. But BU's influence isn't just in numbers or coverage, it's in its technical superiority and unique features that set it apart from GPS in both peace and war. BU isn't just another GPS clone, it's a technological marvel. Its timing accuracy can reach 20 nanoseconds and its positioning is precise down to the centimeter, compared to GPS's 5 to 10 meters. In rugged mountains, dense jungles, or urban canyons where GPS struggles, BU maintains stable signals, proving its resilience against interference. One of BU's most striking innovations is its short message communication feature. Even without internet or mobile networks, users can send location data and brief text messages directly through satellites. For countries with complex terrain or vulnerable infrastructure, this is a life-saving capability, ensuring that critical communications never fail. Its military applications are equally formidable. BEU's anti-jamming abilities make it exceptionally reliable in electronic warfare, while its global coverage ensures that precision targeting and navigation are no longer dependent on foreign powers. In short, BEU is more than a GPS alternative. It is a fully autonomous, robust system designed for both civilian life and the battlefield. Its features aren't theoretical, they are battle-tested and globally deployed. This brings us to real-world scenarios where BEU has already demonstrated its combat-ready capabilities, shaping modern military strategy. BEU's capabilities have been proven on the battlefield. Take Pakistan, for example. In 2019, during a standoff with India, Pakistan relied on BEU for precision-guided missile strikes and navigation under heavy electronic interference. Even when Indian forces attempted jamming, BEU allowed Pakistani forces to maintain accuracy, eliminating enemy outposts, and even downing several fighter jets. This is the system Iran is now looking to harness. With drones, missiles, and naval units increasingly dependent on satellite guidance, a reliable, independent navigation network can be the difference between victory and failure. BEU provides the confidence to operate in contested environments without fear of signals being blocked or manipulated. Beyond war, BEU strengthens operational readiness for civilian sectors tied to national security. Ports, railways, and emergency services can function uninterrupted, even if traditional GPS is disrupted. For Iran, the military and strategic value is clear autonomy, precision, and protection against foreign interference. BEU isn't just technology, 
It's a shield, a tool of sovereignty, and a statement that no foreign power will dictate the country's ability to navigate or defend itself. But Iran's decision is supported not just by technology, it's deeply intertwined with geopolitics and economic strategy, particularly its relationship with China. Iran's switch to BEU isn't happening in a vacuum. It's part of a broader strategic partnership with China. In 2021, the two nations signed a 25-year cooperation agreement, with China pledging up to $400 billion in investments across energy, infrastructure, transportation, and finance. Chinese buyers already account for nearly 90% of Iran's oil exports, providing Iran with its largest and most reliable economic partner. This foundation gives Iran confidence that BU services will remain stable and uninterrupted. Unlike GPS, which can be restricted or jammed at the discretion of the U.S., BU operates independently, backed by a nation with a vested interest in protecting its allies. The trend extends beyond Iran. Saudi Arabia has phased out GPS in favor of Chinese systems at major ports, and the UAE equips hundreds of fishing vessels with BEU terminals. Across Africa, over 30 countries have established BEU monitoring stations, creating a vast, interconnected network that strengthens China's influence while providing reliable navigation alternatives. For Iran, BEU is more than satellites. It's a technological, military, and geopolitical lifeline. By adopting it, Iran secures independence while aligning with a partner capable of defending that autonomy. Yet even with these advantages, questions remain. Even a system as advanced as BEU is not without challenges. Can it truly replace GPS on a global scale? While BU boasts over 50 satellites, centimeter-level accuracy, and robust anti-jamming capabilities, maintaining and upgrading such a vast network is a monumental task. Satellites need constant monitoring, repairs, and eventual replacement. Any disruption could affect reliability. Cybersecurity is another concern. As navigation systems become critical infrastructure, they become prime targets for hacking or electronic warfare. A coordinated attack could compromise positioning data, communications, or even short message services. Additionally, scaling the system to support the growing number of users worldwide requires enormous investment and coordination. While BAU is already operational across 137 countries, ensuring universal compatibility and adoption is a long-term challenge. Yet despite these risks, BU has demonstrated remarkable resilience. Its military successes, civilian applications, and global partnerships suggest it is a credible alternative to GPS. The question isn't whether it works. It's how nations like Iran will leverage it to reshape the balance of technological and strategic power in their favor. As we reflect on Iran's bold move, the story comes full circle, highlighting the shift in global navigation and power dynamics. Iran's decision to switch from US GPS to China's BEU system is more than a technological upgrade. It is a statement of sovereignty, security, and strategic foresight. After decades of reliance on foreign satellites, Iran is taking control of its own destiny, ensuring that drones, missiles, ships, and even civilians can operate without fear of external interference. BEU represents a shift in global power dynamics. What was once an American-dominated navigation system is now challenged by a robust alternative, one that blends precision, resilience, and geopolitical backing. For Iran and dozens of other countries, BU is a lifeline, a tool of independence and stability in an increasingly contested world. The implications are profound. As more nations adopt BU, the map of global technology, trade, and military strategy is being redrawn. GPS is no longer uncontested, and BU's rise signals a new era where nations can choose autonomy over dependence. If you want to follow these stories and see how technology, geopolitics, and global power continue to collide, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Stay tuned, because the next chapter in the battle for the skies is already unfolding.